uh, a huge breaking news uh, development in the last few seconds. Uh, the former First Minister of Scotland, the woman who was at the very heart of Scotland's government for more than 3,000 days, uh, is now uh, a police suspect, is now uh, being questioned by police, has <coughs> now been arrested. So this uh, statement released by Police Scotland in the last few minutes, a 52-year-old woman has today been arrested as a suspect in connection with the ongoing investigation into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party. Uh, detectives confirming that she is in custody. She is being questioned as we speak. Uh, and they say they cannot continue uh, to comment further, clearly, because this is a live police investigation. This is extremely explosive stuff. Let's remember, this is an investigation into the SNP's funding, into its finances, uh, centering around uh, what has been a much talked about ring-fenced funds that were uh, fundraised a number of years ago to the tune of around £600,000 uh, for the cause of a second Scottish independence referendum. And there had been some suggestions around where that money had been spent within uh, the governing party here in Scotland, the SNP. Now, it has been probably the most difficult period that the SNP has endured over the course of the last uh, number of years. We had uh, Nicola Sturgeon's husband, who was the long-standing chief executive of the SNP, had been at the helm of the SNP since 1999, a man called Peter Murrell. He was arrested a number of months ago. Uh, he spent 12 hours in police custody uh, and was then released without charge pending further inquiries. That was a humiliating moment for Nicola Sturgeon and for Peter Murrell because their house was sealed off for uh, a period of more than 30 hours. There was a evidence tent erected in their front lawn. Uh, the area was swarming with police officers who were collating evidence from within that property uh, and have clearly now uh, been piecing together their next steps in this investigation. Uh, let's remember as well that the treasurer, uh, the former treasurer of the SNP, a man called Colin Beatty, he too was arrested as part of this long-running probe into the SNP's funding into its finances and uh, that has then culminated once again in this major breaking news this afternoon that Scotland's former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon uh, is now in police custody. Uh, why is this significant? Well clearly uh, there are uh, big questions around the funding over the course of the last number of years. There was uh, leaked footage uh, given to a Sunday newspaper a number of months ago of Nicola Sturgeon uh, telling the National Executive Committee of the SNP a number of years ago that they should not be worried about the finances of that party. Uh, well, clearly, that is now a situation that is under police examination. Those detectives will now use this period of time to question Nicola Sturgeon about what she did or she did not know uh, was going on within the uh, party at that period of time. But let's remember, this has huge political ramifications as well. This is uh, a woman who resigned from office earlier on this year. It came as a great shock to many, the timing of that. Uh, and she was clear all along that she did not know and had no involvement whatsoever that this uh, was going to be coming down the tracks, that these arrests would be made. Now, clearly, uh, she will be facing those questions over the course of what will be a 12-hour uh, period, the maximum period that police here in Scotland can hold Nicola Sturgeon without bringing any charges or releasing her uh, needs to be 12 hours. At that point, they will make a decision about uh, whether to release her without charge pending further inquiries or to go down a different route. But this is a tricky point yet again for the SNP. There had been suggestions that this may be coming. This was the next uh, move that the police would make. But clearly this is a highly sensitive situation uh, given the political ramifications in all of this as well. Uh, the new First Minister, Hamza Youssef, 
uh, will be uh, in a very tricky spot now because clearly he will not be commenting uh, further, but there will be questions about uh, the how the, the the party has been handled over the course of the last number of years. There was a suggestion that too few decisions were made by too few people. So Nicola Sturgeon and Peter Murrow clearly were running the party, had control of the party, and there had been a suggestion for quite some time that uh, anyone who called out any um, uh, suggestions of uh, questions around the way that the party was being run, uh, well, they were sidelined. That was what some uh, within the party had accused Nicola Sturgeon and Peter Murrell of. But clearly this is now uh, a significant step forward within that police investigation. It is a active uh, investigation and uh, people will need to watch around their commentary um, because now we are moving into uh, a dangerous situation when it comes to online commentary around this. But let's just recap. Police um, Scotland confirming 52-year-old Nicola Sturgeon is in custody today, facing questions as a suspect in this long-running investigation. And Connor, of course, it is a long-running investigation. As you mentioned, Nicola Sturgeon stood down uh, around a lot of speculation whether she believed she was due to be arrested. That was back in uh, a few months ago now, in February. But um, when Peter Murrell, her husband, as you've said, is, was arrested, at the time, their property was sealed, uh, a full search was conducted. Do we know if there's any kind of search uh, being carried out at their home right now? I I realise that this is just broken in the last few moments. I just wondered if we have any sense of activity there too. No sense of, of activity today. I think the timing is interesting of this uh, and certainly in terms of it emerging on a Sunday afternoon like this. But let's remember the police were swarming that property. Uh, dozens of detectives inside the home of Peter Murrell and Nicola Sturgeon for more than 30 hours just a short number of months ago. And within that would have been that painstaking recovery of any evidence that may be deemed appropriate as part of this investigation. I think it would be highly unusual to uh, see police return to that property unless they have discovered something or they have further questions uh, or they will be looking to recover further items from that property. But let's remember, it was not just the home of Nicola Sturgeon and Peter Murrow that was raided a number of months ago. The SNP's headquarters in Edinburgh was also subject of a police raid as well. A number of boxes were removed from that building round the corner uh, within close proximity to Scotland's uh, foot of power at Holyrood, the Scottish Parliament. Uh, so that was a situation that caused a lot of embarrassment for the SNP. Yes. Let's remember, this is a party who were known for their discipline under Nicola Sturgeon, and things have well and truly uh, been plunged into chaos over the last couple of months.